Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will discuss the summary of B2 of non-conventional energy resources. So without taking much time, let us start. Non-conventional energy. It is a clean source of energy and it is renew renewable. Biomass. The burning of wood or other organic matter constitute the biomass. It is also a non-conventional energy resource. Hydropower. Hydropower is all another source of non-conventional energy resources wind energy wind energy is also a non-conventional energy resource solar energy is another non-conventional energy resource geothermal energy is also a non-conventional energy resource ocean thermal energy conversion it's also a form of non-conventional energy resource now electrochemical devices in electrochemical devices there is one anode and there is one cathode and there is a electrolyte between them now we have to see the energy consumption by sector industries and services uses the most amount of energy that is 45 percent and residential use 20 percent transportation 35 percent so industries use the most amount of energy by any sector now energy property 70% people lack access to electricity, 38% lack access to clean cooking facilities, 95% of these people live in sub-Saharan Africa or Asia, 80% of these are in rural areas. Now we have to see top 5 nations based on total energy consumption. China is at the top position, on the second number it is United States and on the third number we are having India. So humans use 500 exajoules of energy annually and 1 exajoule equal to 10 to the power 18 joules. Now per capita energy consumption annual, here United States is at the top position with most energy consumption per capita. India is also having considerable amount and the second number is of Russian Federation, third is of Japan and fourth is of China. Now top 5 nations based on total energy consumption sector wise distribution. Here also China is at the top position, United States is at the second position, India is at the third Russian Federation 4th and Japan 5th. Now top 10 nations based on total energy production annually. Here also China is at the top position, United States is at the 2nd position, Russia 3rd, Saudi Arabia 4th, India at the 5th and Brazil at the last position. Now we have to see the industrial sector process heating, raising, te raising temperature of components during manufacturing, refining crude oil, separation of products, boiler heating to generate steam so the primary source of energy are natural gas and oil and secondary is electricity now we have to see top five energy consuming buildings so top position we are having mercantile and services second office third education fourth healthcare and fifth lodging now we, we have to see which country has vehicles per thousand people San Marino is at the top position, Monaco is at the second, United States third, New Zealand fourth, Australia fifth, China sixth, India is also having some considerable amount. But we can say here we in India we are having very less vehicles per 1000 people. Now total vehicle population, European Union has occupied the first position and on the second position there is United States, then China, then Japan, then Brazil, then India. So India is present everywhere. Now the sources of fuel for transportation sector, we get the fuel, most of the fuel we get from diesel and petrol that is 38% each. Next is jet fuel 14%, residual fuel 7%, natural gas 2%, electricity 1%. Now use of energy in home. So the most energy consumed is in the process of space heating that is 41%. For refrigeration we use 5%, air conditioning 6%, water heating 18% and electronics, lighting and other appliances we use 30% of energy. Now we have to look some pictures of traffic jam in the world, there is traffic jam in San Francisco, traffic jam in China and traffic jam in Chennai. Traffic jam is totally wastage of time and wastage of fuel and wastage of energy. According to a US data, traffic congestion wasted 1.9 billion gallons of fuels in 2010 and is severely threatening the potential oil saving benefits associated with more efficient vehicles and alternative fuels. So traffic jam, we should avoid the traffic jam, we should find some alternative ways, we should 
travel in the PTS that is public transport service instead of carrying, uh, taking our private vehicles on the road. It can be an effective step in minimizing the energy crisis of the world. So thank you very much. Uh, see you in the week 3 summary video. Thank you. Thank you very much.